Hi class, Ms. Shuffler here. Today we are going to be looking at lesson 4.2, Investigate, Multiply Decimals and Whole Numbers. Our essential question today is, how can you use a model to multiply a whole number and a decimal? So, to get started, let's take a look at what we're going to need. Our materials is going to be a decimal model, which is going to be included in your book, and colored pencils. Of course, you can use crayons, markers, whatever you have. You will need four different colors. Now, let's take a look at our word problem. Giant tortoises move very slowly. They can travel a distance of about 1700th mile in one hour. If it travels at the same speed, how far could a giant tortoise move in four hours? All right, let's go back and take a look at our word problem and see what we find that is important and needs to be highlighted. Well, it says they can travel a distance of about 1700th mile in one hour. So we will go ahead and highlight that. Then it goes on, if it travels at the same speed, now that's kind of important because that is a clue that lets us know we're going to be working with groups. So let's highlight that and let's mark it to the side because we know we are going to be using multiply. How far could a giant tortoise move in four hours? Well, four hours tells us how many groups we're going to have. Now, let's go down to part A. It says to complete the statement to describe the problem. I need to find how many total miles are in. Hmm. Well, going back to our word problem, we did pull out the four hours. And we did say that was going to be the number of groups. So we're going to be looking at the total miles there are in four groups of. And the other number we have is the 1700th mile in one hour. So that gives us an idea that we're going to have four groups of 1700s. Now we're going to use our two numbers that we pulled out to create an expression to represent the problem. So we're going to use our 1700s and our four groups, but we also said that same speed means that each group will have the same distance, so that tells us we're going to use multiplication. So our expression is going to be 4 times 1700s. Now we're going to use our decimal model to find the answer. So what does each small square in the decimal model represent? Well, we know that there are a hundred squares in the decimal model. So if we pull out one single square, the single square is going to represent one hundredth. So we are going to shade a group of, and that's going to go back to our 1700s. We're going to shade a group of 17 squares to represent the distance a giant tortoise can move in one hour. So let's go over to our decimal model and let's shade in our 17 squares and see what it says to do next. And it says to use a different color to shade each additional group of 17 squares until you have four groups of 17 squares. So let's go back over and finish up with our other three groups. So we are going to record the total of numbers squares shaded. So let's go back over and 68 sh shaded squares. So the giant tortoise can move. And remember, we're talking about hundreds. So the giant turtle tortoise can move 68 hundreds mile in four hours.
we know that each column is represented by 10 pieces. So we're going to shade one whole one of those and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's go back to our problem. And we're going to count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it looks like I forgot to write the 17 for our yellow group. Now we have one, two, three, four groups of 17. How many squares we have shaded? We know that this is going to be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Well, we know all together. Now we're going to pull out our math journals and we're going to take our math notes on multiplying decimals by whole numbers. Remember to copy down all four steps that we're going to need to do. Also remember, if you need additional time to copy the notes down, you can pause the video Okay, your password for today's lesson is going to be factor. And let's keep in mind that factor are the two numbers we multiply together to get a product. So be sure to record factor in your planner and bring with you to class tomorrow.